What are these symbols? Do you know what they are? They're called IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. Okay, if you Google IPA chart, you're going to see something like this. This is all the sounds in every language around the world. Can you believe it? Okay, look at here. We have retroflex sounds. Now these are very common in Hindi, like t, d, okay? Over here we have some sounds back in the throat, like h, r, okay? Those are common in languages like Arabic. Um, down there we have some clicks. Those are really common in some African languages, like I can't make clicks very well, but some of the African languages are just crazy. Maybe go on YouTube and search for African clicking language. It just sounds amazing, but crazy at the same time. It's really cool. Okay, now why do we need IPA symbols? Well, we need symbols because very often in our writing, our letters don't accurately represent a sound. Okay, look at this. What sound does this make in English? Well, it could be th or th. That's why we need symbols to represent sounds because sometimes our writing systems, especially in English, is crazy. English spelling is absolutely crazy, okay? It would be better if we actually spelled the sounds like this than if we used that garbage, okay? English spelling is ridiculous. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm gonna show you all the IPA symbols in my accent. Okay, English is a very broad language. There's lots of different accents. And, you know, the symbols are all a little bit different for each accent, but here I'm gonna show you all of them in my accent. There's about 40 sounds in my accent. Okay, so let's start with the vowels. Now, I made a separate lesson just on vowels, so make sure you go check that out, but I'll just give you a short overview of the vowels, okay? E, I'll use my teacher's stick. E, A, E, A, I, E, A, A, U, U, O, A. Okay, there's the 12 vowels in my accent. Let's take a look at them in words. So here we have we, way, wet, whack. Now whack means to hit something. Let's say there's a mosquito buzzing around. Bzzz, whack, you need to whack the mosquito. Okay, ah, uh, blah. Let's say you're feeling a bit tired and bored and maybe sick and I ask you, how are you doing? You could say, I'm feeling blah, okay? Now, bib, eh, bib. A bib is something a baby wears when it eats, okay? You know when babies eat, they're really messy, right? They get food all over themselves, so they need to wear a bib when they eat. Okay, here we have, oh, look, banana. Banana, okay, this one is the schwa sound. Okay, here we have fun, food, go, bought. Okay, let's take a look at some consonants. So, thought, bother. This one is voiced, and this one is voiceless. Okay, if you wanna know the difference between a voiced and voiceless sound, just put your fingers here. Can you feel your voice box vibrating? Bother, yes, there you can. Thought, okay, it's voiceless. Okay, doc, talk, sue, zoo, bill, pill, ghost, coast, char, jar. Now, char means to burn something. Let's say you're cooking a steak and you burn it until it's black. Then you charred the steak. Okay, fear, veer. 
your roar. Now these two sounds are made in a similar place in the mouth. Y, r, your roar. Okay, leash, leisure, leash, leisure. Again, these are the same sounds. Just one is voiced, one is voiceless. Shh, zh, shh, zh. Okay, knock, mock, sing. Now these sounds are called nasal sounds because they're made in the nose. Nasal means nose. Okay, listen. Mm, okay, it's made up here in the nose. N, m, n. Knock, mock, sing. Okay, now here are some interesting sounds. <sighs> and, uh, okay, this one is called the glottal stop. I'll give you an example. Aha, aha, I have a great idea. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that means no. Okay, now listen, there's a little gap in between the sound. My voice stops for a little bit and then it starts again. Here it doesn't do that. Look, aha, uh -huh. it's smooth. Here it stops, uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, can you hear it? I'll try to make some glottal stops. Okay, it's starting and stopping. Okay, that's a very interesting sound. Okay, w, way, l, lay. And this one is called the flap. I made another lesson just on this sound. You can go check that out. Okay, water, water. Okay, so I wanna know which sound is the most difficult for you to make. Let me know in the comments right down there and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.